ay uh, tuloy po ang ating talakayan sa ating original na kapihan pero dahil po may bahagyang uh, pagsino mula ang isa kaya po sisimulan po natin ito bago tubagi ng ating mga guest sa isa pong uh, pagbansang awit kaya po maya maya po ay isang paghahanda lang ito uh, Uh, Mr. Ariel Ayala Ayan na rin na po Palakpakan po natin si Mr. Ariel Ayala Si Ma'am Julie Yabdasa Ma'am Julie At tatawagin na po natin si Yusek uh, Wendel Abisato At Pangulo ng Boy Scouts of the Philippines At tatawagin po natin si Mayor Remedios Martin Petilla na Palo Leite. At atin pong historian, Professor Michael Shell Chua. Ang atin pong uh, pangayipaksa ay ang ikatitumpot limang anibersaryo na Leite Landing. At kabihan po sa tanong, ang history ba ay balita? Ano man po na kinasasabi kang pangyayari ay balita. O narito na rin po, mag-plash po natin ang Pangulo ng Samahan na rin din, uh, President Rolly Rolly Stabilio. Narito, palapahan po natin si President Rolly. At mamaya po, i-recognize natin ang presence ng mga kapatid natin sa media. At dahil po, mayroon po tayong uh, mga uh, at babi ng isang munting kabay ay nahilingan po natin na pagkaloogan tayo ng anumang quotation anumang quotation ng pagmamahal sa bayan mula sa isa natin panahuhin ang Philippine Prior Lawyers Association President Attorney Pete Principe Mr. Principe sigunan po niyo sa sa isang quotation na magbibigay ng sigla sa buong pagdiriwan. Two weeks ago, dinalaw po ako ng aking kaibigan, si Jolet Santos. Dahil ako po ay na triple bypass operation at uh, kasalukuyan sa papagaling. Uh, Kaakibat pala ng kanyang pagdalaw ay hihilingan niya po Siguro, kanya kapinigyan ng second life ng pangalawang buhay ay upang ma maging bahagi ng kasaysayan dito sa kapihan sa Manilote. Yon ang sinabi po ni Parang Jonah. Kaya't uh, naalala ko ang tatlong quotation na nais kong ibahagi sa inyo. Ang una ay ang sinabi ni General Douglas MacArthur. Sabi niya, hindi po. <laughs> Pangalawa, yung sinabi ng Nobel Prize for Peace Award ni Eli Wiesel. Sabi niya, tungkulin ng bawat nabubuhay dito sa mundo na isudat at ilahat ang mga pangyayang. Yan ang sinabi ni Eli Wiesel. Hindi tayo walang kibunaman, kundi isunat at ipalita ang ating nasasihan na pangyayang. At ang pangatlo at uling quotation ay sa malulat na nating dahil ng bayaning gato sa isa. Sa maumagitan ng pangunahing karakter sa El Pilibus Turismo, si Isakani. Ang sabi niya, ni Isakani, kung puti na ang aking buhok at pagkatapos ay lumingin ako sa alakala ng nakaraan. Nakita ko ang aking sarili. Nakita ko na nauukula ng aking panahon sa aking lamang sarili at wala akong nagawa ni kundi sa aking bayan. Ngayon, 
sasabihin ko nga ang bawat puting puho ay isang tinig at isang malaking kayayan sapagkat wala akong nagawa sa ating bayan. Yan ang sinabi ni Sagani. Yan ang pangungusap ng dakin ng bayanin si Usarisa. Kaya sa umaga nito, sa umaga nito na puno ng sigla dahil kasaysayan ng ating tatalakayin, pinasasalamatan ko ang Pangulo ng Samaan ng Planidad, si Rony Sabinio. Si Rony Sabinio, palakpakan natin si Rony Sabinio. At pinasasalamatan ko ang lahat, si Paring Jonat, na siyang naganyayat, nakiusap sa akin. Bagamat ako'y kasalukuyang nagpapagaling, sapagkat tama, ang maging bahagi ka nito ay bahagi ng kasaysayan. Magandang umaga po, patubayan tayo ng dahilan nito. Okay, thank you po. Naalala ko kasabihin, huwag ko po sa puting buhay, may sharon mo na ito yun. Anyway, ito na po tayo sa ating forum proper at ang ating mga panorin. Ipawag na dito na po at narito ang unahin po natin ay kante. Wala po sa panorinte. Si Mayora, si Mayora ay narito na po. Mayos Pipilia. Of course, panorinte. Sa nag-aaral sa kasaysayan, hindi nag-aaral, namin kikuso sa kasaysayan. Ang mga lugar sa panorinte sikat na sa beach. Yung beach na nalublo. Si Corin Sagitari natin, si Romulo. Nalublo. Nalublo. Uh, nalublo. <laughs> Kasi ang height na po ni Lebe, ang height ng mga po ay 6'2 nang lumabi. So just imagine kung ano nangyari sa kanya. And of course, narito si Yusek uh, Wendel uh, Arisado uh, ng Boy Scouts of the Philippines. Ano ako ng violent of ESP. E ano kayong pinaghandaan nila? Ano naging papay nila noong uh, Second World War? Si Yusek Wendel, eh, long time na friend natin yan. Isang uh, fellow ng uh, ID LP program ng USAID. And of course, si Professor uh, para sa kasaysayan. Ma'am, uh, Ma'am Julie, uh, shoot the first uh, question. Yes, Professor. Um, this, this, uh, this is supposedly a special edition of Kapian. So there's no politics today. We're just talking about a bit of history, a bit of uh, Philippine uh, civilization, how we look back at our past and how the past impinges on the present, and perhaps in this year of uh, elections, how it might affect the future. So I think we should let Mayor Petilia tell us what is the significance of the forthcoming celebration in Palo, and, and why are we uh, why, what young people should know about this coming celebration. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for inviting um, Palok Leite, the traveling of Leite, to this very prestigious Kapihan sa Manila Hotel. We heard all about this in the past and even up to now. And uh, I feel very honored that we are now part of this. And Julie, uh, very important is the celebration, commemoration now, this coming October 20, of the uh, the 75th anniversary of the Lady God landings, 75 years ago. And uh, we feel that this is very important, uh, not just to the people who, who survived the war, who are still now with us, not to the, the communities involved in it, but more than the young people now who, who haven't really known or maybe understood it a bit of what happened 75 years ago. So we are very happy that we have this privilege of inviting everyone to join us, to, to be there, and also to, to know the, the history of the day people plan so that somehow it will affect their lives today. And what would be the role of the Boy Scouts, Mr. Abisando? Are you part of the forthcoming celebration? Uh, as always, ma'am. Uh, in fact, uh, Mayor uh, Martin is the uh, chairperson 
of the Boy Scouts of the Philippines Lim Tee Council for the longest time. Oh. And she used to be also a member of the National Executive Board of the Boy, of the Boy Scouts of the Philippines. She's really a Boy Scout, a Boy Scout by heart. <laughs> no joke for me because the Girl Scout might uh, uh, dislike them. My father-in-law was the founder of the PSP. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the Honorable Gabriel Daza yeah. is one of the seven founders of the Boy Scouts of the Philippines. Uh, there were seven of them, Stepinot, uh, Romulo, Lim, Camus, Vargas, Luz, and Nardasa. And uh, we're very proud to be always a part of the celebration. In fact, uh, two days before the landing... Of MacArthur. Yes. Uh, and Romulo. Yes. Uh, there was a continuous shelling of uh, of uh, Leyte, and uh, it was, uh, if I may just uh, share to you the involvement of the, the Boy Scouts in uh, that uh, uh, very significant event. We call him the last Boy Scout in the person of Valeriano Abelio, who was in um, uh, Telegrafo uh, Tolosa at that time when uh, the uh, the ships, uh, the the, uh, the frigates, and the destroyers of the uh, U.S. Uh, United States of America started shelling, and uh, he used a a white uh, diaper to baby and made it a a, a makes make and make uh, make ship a Singapore signal. Yes, and and uh, he started uh, signaling the uh, the ship, and the signal was, "Don't bump the beaches. There are people here." And uh, the ship responded by asking him also through signal, "Who are you? Identify." And received that back, and he said, "All scouts of America." And that was when the ship uh, allowed them to paddle up to the ship and board because his request that he be allowed to direct the shelling because he knows exactly where the Japanese uh, forces were located. So the Japanese were on the beach? Yes, they were in the island. They were in were the, they they were, in Lite, were they positioned along the beach? That's why the, the, no, the shelling was directed, being directed on the there beach? There were residents in the beach, ah. on the beach. Ah. And, and uh, Mr. Uh, Abello, Scout Abello, was trying to uh, protect them by uh, signaling to, where, the, where to the ship not to bump the beaches. Where was Mr. Abello? In, where was he at the time? In the beach. In the on beach. the beach. Okay. On the beach. That's by the seaside. Okay. That's why if you go to Tolosa in Telegrapo, there's a monument there of Mr. Abello. Uh, uh, exactly where the boat, where the uh, where the uh, uh, small boat that he rode up to the the ship. Uh, he rode from the beach. Yes, they paddled to the to the ship, okay. and they were also fired at by the by the no, by the Japanese. But they succeeded in going up to the ship, and that's when uh, the ship was guided in bombing uh, specific areas. Rather than at the place where the residents were, yes, staying. Okay. That's Palo. Yeah, that's Palo. And this is celebrated two days before the anniversary, October 18. That's why the Boy Scouts of the Philippines always um, commemorate and remember How many what scouts? we know, what we have uh, uh, named it as the signal day. What, what, how many Boy Scouts were with Mr. Abello at the time? There were two. Just there were two. two of them? Yes. Oh. Uh, Mr. Uh, Zunia, Antero Zunia, and Vicente Pistol. Yes. Oh. What about you, Mr. Chua? No, the mayor is the mayor. Uh, the mayor is the mayor. So, mayor. Uh, yes, actually, <clears throat> the signaling by, the, by Boy Scout Abello happened uh, in the shores of Tolosa Lake. Yeah. That's why the uh, the monument is there now, uh, but it's part of the whole landing. Uh, in in the Red Beach, in Palo Lake, that's where General MacArthur stepped down 
in the shores and uh, uh, declared this uh, uh, the land use. But the whole area from Taklauban, Palo Tolosa, up to Abuyo, the beaches there were all uh, part of the land use. One beach uh, sprawling across four towns. It's not just four towns, four. it's uh, about the Pacific, the, ho the coastal areas of the town are facing the Pacific Ocean. And how many um, Navy men came aboard, came down with the general department? Um, the how many boats and how many um, Navy men uh, sailors? Um, I'm down there then because this was simultaneous. Uh, the the so landings and the occupation and the liberation. It's the whole, the whole area and the beaches of the different towns facing the Pacific. Because we only see pictures of that small group of Arthur Romulo and the others that are wading into the water to yeah. arrive on. That was in Red Beach, Palo. But the whole area up to Abuyo were uh, uh, venues or scenes of the land. And, and the, the arrival was very peaceful. No gunfire from the Japanese. Oh, there were. There's a lot of fighting. There were a lot of fighting and air fighting and all that. Uh, because uh, the, the province of Leite, especially on that side, was uh, occupied by the Japanese at the time. How many casualties? Uh, I don't really know, but history can tell us. Professor, I don't know how to do it. I became my story and that's why I, I, my math is bad. So I have to rely on the uh, data here. Uh, this is Mr. Siang Chuma of the History Department yes. of the Lasal College. University. Yes. Yeah, tama po. Tama si sir, no? Ito yung pinakamalaking naval battle sa buong kasaysayan ng mundo. Ng mundo. Until now. At, at, ano, uh, greatest, uh, greatest naval, naval battle. So, imagine, there are so many other important naval battles in the history of the world. Diba, Battle of Lepanto, ganyan. But later, it was the biggest. And it was recorded in the Guinness Book of Records. No? Ang bilangan kasi doon sa greatest naval battle ay yung dami ng uh, ships. Okay. And then, Isang sa aircraft carrier? Ilang aircraft carriers? Aircraft carrier, uh, taka, nandito yan eh. Ito, eh kung aircraft kasi, hindi ko masyadong makita dito. Pero, ito 300 planes. 300 planes, 300 ships. Imagine. Ah, uh, yan ang ano dyan. And, uh, ang dami, imagine mo yan. And there are many other small crafts. But, the, some, the problem with that, no, kasi ako, I, I, I'm, I'm more of on the national uh, perspective of on this, no. The late landing, sometimes, especially nung panahon bago si Nameo, ano, ang laging, ang, ang laging emphasis ng late landing, si Makaso. Which is rightly so in many ways, because he was the one who led it, no. But remember that, and, and then we pinpoint October 20 as the liberation of the Philippines. Napos, Makato lang. So parang the Americans saved us from the Japanese. Hindi natin alam, o hindi natin masyado na pag-aaralan, that Makato submarine, yung Spiron, was already collecting data about the country, no? Through various guerrilla movements. So what? Guerrilla movements. Yung yes. tools, mga guerrillas. No. So itong mga movements na to, they, they get information. Actually, they fought the Japanese while the Americans were out for three years. And then they were also getting information. So that Makato can decide, where can I land in the Philippines? Where it was more strategic. Where it is more strategic. So sinasabi, ang una daw niya decision was good to go to Mindanao. And then he realized that in Mindanao, madami palang mga Mas malakas yung dito na ako. The Japanese are expecting heavy that the doon papasok sa Makato. So, sabi nila, he chose Leyte. And Leyte, so nung, nung nandun na yung mga Amerikano, no? uh, the, the, the Filipino forces, the scouts were there, the boy scouts, ha? hindi Philippine scouts, boy the scouts. Boys. They were boys. No, they were, they were oh, under age. Oh, Correct. And the guerrillas under Kang Leon, no? Huberto Kang Leon, they were already liberating the country, the, the Leyte at the time. In fact, when, when the, the first part of the battle was the landing. 
So parang, and, and this was done for, ano, actually for the, wala namang use yung landing eh. They cannot do it, they can do it, they can do without it. But to bolster the Filipinos, to fight more, Nagdupang si Makato, the president of Osmeña was with him, and then uh, General Makato and the others, and then he gave that message. You people of the Philippines, I have returned. In the grace of Almighty God, our forces stand on Philippine soil. Soil, uh, the Nobody, the Nobody tried to shoot. They, of course, they cleared that area muna. When they, and then after that, the, the Makato landed, um, the battle of later just was just beginning for many for about a few days. So you know that October 20 marks the end of the battle or the beginning. One of the beginning. The beginning. Uh, the beginning of the landing. I I uh, I choose to say it. Uh, the October 20 Lady Gulf landings uh, was the beginning of the end yes. of World War II. Because it was really there where they uh, started to liberate the whole, the whole uh, country uh, from the Japanese occupation. And how many days was the battle? How many days did it last? A week? Five days? And in fact, in the history, in the books that we read, uh, there were uh, notes like uh, the day after, that is October 21, they started to occupy uh, and liberate the whole province. But they started in Palo later because it's a crossroad, it's a junction. When you go to the right, you go to, to Ormo, Parigata, Ormo, and the Miran Islands. When you go to the left, you go to the to southern Leyte and to Mindanao. And uh, when you go to Tacloban, you go to Samar, uh, to Tocon, and Bicol, and the Manila, and the Son. So, uh, parang they really started from there. Yes. And the day after, they started to liberate the town and occupy the strategic uh, boundaries so that they could go out and liberate, liberate the rest of that. So, um, was this a bloody liberation like in Manila? Was it like that? As bad as Manila? As bad as Manila? Uh, Mom Julie is referencing on how civilians were mercilessly killed by the Japanese. So, I mean, that's what they did. Oh, crowded kasi dito. Not, not just civilians. Oh, civilians. The, Manila, uh, the, and the Japanese and the American mm -hmm. casualties, wala. Uh, ang, ang, ang nakikita ko dito kasi, the, the, the naval battle was the focus eh. So it's the naval battle. So it's really more of the sunken ships and all of that. Ano. During but, that time, ang um, Palo Leyte is a town of 4,000 people. Yeah, 4,000 people. Yeah, yeah. Oh, kaya hindi na dami. Parang naglindo yan eh. Naglindo sa Manila, na malakas, maraming mga mata eh. Naglindo sa Sama, o konti lang kasi o konti lang. Parang namin na dyan ang halikas because they know that the battle will Eh, pero may, may tanong ako dyan. Uh, of course, MacArthur Center ang um, historian ng uh, gera sa Pilipinas. Pero ito bang palpak daw? Uh, I'm reading ang articles. Yeah. Napalpak na leader may ito si MacArthur. Uh, Nangako yun ang I will, I shall return. Nagtatagok sa loob ng balita kanin. It's General Waybright na nakipagpapak. At na pigilan ang mabilis na pagsabot ng MacArthur sa Pilipinas. Well, uh, ito kasi yung, well, of course, ito yung other side of Makato. Makato had a very good press, but his image, he embellished his image a lot, no? Uh, he was very old at that time, remember? And he already became the chief of staff of the U.S. Army. Meaning he became the highest U.S. Army official already. And then Quezon brought him to the Philippines to become the chief marshal of the Philippine Islands. Now, so what happened was, when the battle of when 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 Pearl Harbor happened, ito yung ito yung nangyari. Dito sa Bini, ano, sa, ang office niya dito sa Victoria Street, eh, dito sa Itamuros, malapit lang dito. Ang bahay niya dito sa port, dito sa penthouse ng Manila Hotel. Diyan siya dinala, kaya may MacArthur Street tayo. Um, hindi daw siya makagila during the first hours of the battle. Ito yung sinabi ni William Manchester sa The American Caesar. No? So hindi siya makagila become Kaya hindi agad na pagdesisyonan yung mga bagay-bagay nung madaling araw na yun ng uh, December 8, 
no? At uh, that, that's one, one. The other one was, well, of course, he was a leader kasi, kaya parang pinoprotectan siya doon sa maling na tunnel. Si General Wayne Wright po, siya yung nandun sa, ay di, si King pala yung nasa bataan, si Wayne Wright yung nasa pangito. Pero ang, ang makikita natin dito, um, when he went to Australia to say, I shall retire, hindi gusto-gusto na niyang bumalik agad sa Philippines. Pero the problem was, hindi talaga siya, kung baga, natagalan pa siya, kailangan tapusin muna yung yung malaking part ng gera sa Europe. Kaya nga, di ba yung D-Day, tinapos muna yun eh. Kasi dapat, dalawa na yung gera ng US eh. May gera na sa Germany, may gera pa sa Pilip sa Pacific. So sabi nila, focus muna tayo doon. So ngayon, may celebration ng D-Day, itong, itong mga panahon na ito sa Europe. Okay. Ngayon, after that, saka lang sabi, makakaw, sige, bumalik ka na sa Pilip. So, medyo natagalan siya. Kaya yung mga Pilipino guerrillas po, yung, kaya nga pag nagsinelebrate natin sa uh, October 20, ang magandang celebration talaga dyan, makaktor, di ba, Americans, Pilipinos, together, liberating the country. Yun ang magandang. But the focus has always been on MacArthur. Eh, kasi pokey. Pero <laughs> 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 totoo ba yun? Yung umagang binumbomba ang Pearl Harbor, dahil hindi na ako si MacArthur, hindi madesisyonan, hindi na pala medyo kiraplano. Inabot ng bummer ng Hapon. Ito ang mga tenga, nakukusa ng plano ng Mercado, nung hindi nakalipan. Ay, ba't hindi ito? Kasi ito po yung nangyari doon sa Clark Air Base, no? And the other six air bases. So remember that the Pearl Harbor uh, happened in Hawaii, madaling araw sa atin, around 2 or 2 or 3 a.m. or gano'n. What happened was, in Baguio, nandun sila eh. Si Quezon nandun, no? And si Makato nandito sa Manila, pero hindi siya mahilap na at that time. Lumipad itong mga bombers ng Japan na ng US sa Clark Field. Kasi remember that our airbase is in Clark Field, was in Clark Field. So, lumipad lahat yun. Anticipated that the air attack will happen. Buong umaga sila ngayon na nagano. Tapos sabi nila, oh, ubusan na tayo ng gasolina. Baba na tayo ngayon. Ay, doon dumating ang hapon, saka binanatan ngayon yung Clark Field. Wala. Kahit sa bataan, di tayo masyadong walang kerong support doon. Yung mga piloto doon sumama sa mga nagigipagbangilan. Kaya yan yung malaking problem na nangyari. Na noong una pa lang, parang... Na, kasi remember that in fairness to Makato, the Japanese were already working here as photographers, cardinals, sorbeteros, no? Workers! And then pagdating ng Japanese... Uh, ang ano, imperial forces, mga officer ang mga tinamaan ng bulog. So, ang yun ang nangyari. Mag, they were already spying on us, looking at our weaknesses, looking at our strategies, and then when the day happened, handang-handa pala sila. Naka-uniform na sila. Yes, ma'am. Nakita ng mga, yung mga kanilang mga doll at doll yan. Oh, baka uniform yun ang pala itong mga doll. Officer pala. So, yes. You know this history. Anong lesson natin? Deja vu? Parang kasi kinapin mo maraming hapunol eh, bago mag-lera. Parang ngayon, maraming ngayon tayo nakikita ng sinke. Oo nga. Well, lolo ko naman, lolo ko yun. So, yung lolo ko naman ay Chinese din. Siyempre, kailangan, may mga pag, hindi mga pag-iingan. Pero kailangan, yung vigilance natin, we should not let our guard down. But we should also take, uh, ito, siyempre, we are celebrating the end of the war. Let us also, parang, mag-ingat din tayo na yung lessons din sa Germany, at what happened na parang wala namang ginagawa yung mga Germans ay yung mga Jews pero dahil lang against yung mga Germans sa kanila eh, pinatay sila ganun din yung lesson din sa atin dito sa Pilipinas kung ba't may mga issues tayo sa mga Chinese huwag naman natin banatan yung Sinoy kasi kailangan i-distinguish natin ibang-ibang klase ang Chinese sa Pilipinas let's not start another war here exactly, <laughs> exactly. Mayor, so, yeah. Mayor, thank you did you, did you ever think that the compensation paid to Cebu was ever enough? And in what form? What form of compensation did the Japanese forces pay? For late Oh, okay. Because there are a lot of millionaires were born because of the compensation. Yes. But in fact, the problem uh, is in fact, like any other um, place or any other area where uh, foreign, uh, foreign 
parang uh, getting into the communities, ang dami ng foreigners there, ang dami rin na, na ano na Japanese foreigners na ako na ngayon. Uh, like Yolanda, ang laki ng damage ng Yolanda, but uh, the Japanese uh, were there, one of the first who were there, and they could, in fact, they continue to be there up now, to help us out in our program, in our in our development. Suji Foundation also. Suji Foundation is number one. Very, very big help. Yeah, they were the first one. Yes, they were the first one who went there, and uh, the first things that we did was to give um, money to the jobs. jobs. jobs jobs to the people and uh, anything to do, like they, they were even hiring the people to take care, to recover, to rebuild their houses, to rebuild, to rebuild their uh, fields on agriculture, they were doing that. But my question, uh, even on housing, I have a yeah, big uh, relocation site in my town, uh, run by, uh, donated by Chuchi Foundation Philippines, and even up to now they are there. They are helping the communities in uh, livelihood, in uh, morally, morally also, because you know, their values and the advocacy. But my question had more to do with the wartime compensation. Did it simple? Did later get much of it? Because almost everything seemed to be concentrated in Manila, which was the most severely damaged. I don't really know about the compensation side. Maybe history can also. Actually, um, because the Americans eventually invaded Japan. And then that was what we call the Marshall Plan. And parang sabi sa atin, kalimutan nyo na yan. Kalimutan nyo na yung compensation na yan. And what happened was, hey, Japan did not pay. Uh, what happened was, Kirino, pa, Kirino. Nagkaluhan lang ng Manika. Was a... Uh, Kirino lang. No, this is, this is what happened. A a apparently, ito pala yung nangyari. Kirino was forced. Was forced, and this is now what we're saying about it to some historians. Was forced to pardon. Yun ang nangyari dyan. Kasi ito nangyari, parang... That's what I read. Yeah. He pardoned the Japanese who killed his wife. And, 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 and all of the others, yeah, war criminals. isang buong ano yun, like all war criminals, pauwi na kayo sa Japan kasi nakakulong sila dito sa Mutin Lupi. Eh. Hindi, in a, in a way, if the Americans pressured him to, to do it. No? Pinagita sa, no, sa kamag-anak niya, pinagita sa uh, Discovery, ano, uh, Geographic Channel. Tinanong siya kung ano gusto. Sabi niya, eh, bigyan na lang ng manita yung mga bata. Simbolik. Kaya yung mga malitang hapunesa, ang daming pinaligay sa mga batang ng Pilipina. At so, ano din? Ang kapatawaran ng pagkakaya. Oo, oh, pinapadala din kasi talaga noon yun, yung sikat na sikat yung draft, yung Japanese. Yun yung una natin alam. Pero again, siguro, Kirino just accepted it and said, oh, I'm, I'm doing this so that we would not have hate for the Japanese. So, ginaguluhan na niya ng gano'n. Pero, pero yun yung nangyari. So, that's why, of, that's why even the comfort women issue, may yeah. nahihiraman tayo ngayon kasi if they admit officially, that's why all the story of the war, of the comfort women, all yung mga Japanese ay laging uh, official, ano, unofficial, personal, deep personal regret and uh, 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 apology. Kasi, kasi pag official yan, may usapin ng pera yan. Like what happened in South Korea. Nagkaroon ng mga compensation. Anyway, let's, let's go to the present. Uh, yes. uh, we will open the forum in a while. Just yes. one more question, uh, Mayor. So, uh, this won't have, the celebration won't happen till October 20. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, six months away. Why, why, why are you already building up the, the, the momentum? Uh, is there any yes. for April or May? We are we are under the uh, preparation side for the commemoration, and we are working with the Philippine Historical Commission, uh, who is also tasked, who is tasked by the president to handle the commemoration side. We are working that plan is supplied through Governor Governor uh, Dominic Bitilia is also working on it. We're making the preparations, uh, programs, and 
commemoration. Will the young people be involved? Yes, they will be involved. In fact, one of our programs is that Live Free uh, Festival. The Live Free Festival, yes, is a series of functions on the events of that uh, of the political plan, landings and the effects and everything on all sectors of society. The youth are basically there uh, to, to learn about all these things. I have a question. Will the international, is that an international conference? And will it happen in Palo? There is an international event that will happen in Palo, hosted by the uh, Lady Normal University. Uh, what, what is the subject? It, it's about uh, uh, all everything about writers, all about the, uh, uh, the, the cultural side of everything, like uh, the artists will uh, only gather the international. What, what countries are coming? Japan, America? Uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of countries. International shy. They're still uh, getting uh, advices for participation. And they will be housed in? In, uh, in, in Tacloma, in Palo. Okay. So, uh, uh, do you have a question? Somebody was raising his hand. Do you have a question? Yes, uh, Madam uh, Julie. Where are you? The uh, historian of Chua. Because we can see the first thing that we can see is 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 the first thing that China. Okay. Okay. Ang may action ko po dyan, ganito. Medyo anoin ko na ng mga napag-aakala natin sa international relations ang kapakinig sa mga colleagues ko. Uh, ito po yung mangyayari ngayon. In, you, you can see America today, they're not interested with going to war anymore. Bakit? Nagiging kumipot po yung mga bansa. And China, ayaw din gumastos niya. Remember that the Chinese They have army, although ang galing magbansa, ang experience. Hindi sila masyadong magaling sa experience sa war. Binatulad ng Amerika. So, the, what, what's happening now is let us not uh, unrealistic ngayon yung invasion. Yes. That they're going to come here, march, and occupy us. Yes. Because they know that they will have problems with Filipinos. Yes. Kahit gano'ng malaking power, pag Pinoy ang kalaban mo, kahit na masahong ko siya, makakanti ka lang. Because the Filipinos are very good in giving a warfare, no? magaling tayo dyan. So, and then eventually we're going to win. Alam nila yun. But the problem is, ang nangyayari ngayon ay hindi actual occupation. And this is what also the Americans in many ways did after the war. Yung tinatawag nating neocolonialism. Sino ba gano'n natin siya tignan? That uh, they wanted a uh, more interest of their uh, uh, more of their interest here and uh, economic no uh, yun lang ito yung sorry ako ko comment rin ako uh, unlike Japan Japan killed a lot of people here eh. but we're very friendly with them <laughs> diba kasi ang galing ng soft diplomacy at ito yung siguro medyo hindi masyadong malakas ang mga Chinese they always come very strong very Uh, parang masyadong malakas yung dating. Oo, oh, hindi katulad ng K-pop, di nyo na napansin. Tayo actually, nasa sakot na yung kultura natin ng Korea. Dahil nung pumasok na yung K-pop, ako pangit ako ng tayo ng Samgyupsal. So, if, if invasion comes in many forms. No? May hindi lang yan yung army. But culture, no? it's, it's, not, uh, it's not really bad. Except that, as Filipinos, we must always be vigilant in reiterating, may kultura tayo. So, mahalin natin ng iba, pero may kultura tayo, mahalin din natin. Mag, uh, kung ano pa yung, kung may Chinese interest dito, na gusto nilang igiit, which is okay because we're inviting foreign investors, kailangan igiit din natin na may interest din tayo at dapat hindi lagi tayong behado. Yun lang naman ang kahilingan natin sa mga nasa pamahalan. Huwag tayong maging behado sa pakikipagdil natin. Pangalawa ko ba, historia na ito, yung bang uh, ginawa mo ng Laurel uh, sa panahon ng uh, digmaan ng mga kapon na maka makapili. Ito bang uh, panahon ni Digong, hindi siya makapili. 
<laughs> ito yung yung kay Lao Mel kasi uh, medyo complicated to but I'll answer it in a very short form no? Lao Mel is considered now a very misunderstood president because Lao Mel although he was a puppet govern, puppet government ang ginawa niya ay he insisted on saving a lot of Filipinos and, and keeping Filipino interests now yung sa ngayon Ah, uh, now, ganito kasi ginagawa eh. May, yung kayang gobyerno, hindi ko kasi alam eh. I don't like the way, and I'll be honest here, ano? I don't like the way the government is, and, and the president, is saying na, I love Xi Jinping. Maging provincial na lang tayo ng China. Hindi eh, di maganda sa isang sovereign country. Pero, I'm also thinking, isn't this a ploy to make China feel na parang at home tayo pero once na you know, lukohin nyo kami o nilalansin tayo na in a way na they're actually doing, I know the diplomats, the DFA they're actually doing their best to safeguard our interests I hope pero ayoko talaga yung ganun na parang parang nagliliklohon tayo sa China but culturally, China has in history, ganyan lagi parang kailangan magkaw-taw ka Dahil ho, kailangan natin malaman ng ating Pangulo ay uh, mayroon ba siyang ginawang prison sa baya natin para malaman natin kung kaano katindi ang mga ginagawa ni Ginigong sa baya natin. Nadi-defuse kasi dahil ang laging sasabihin nila nagdo-joke lang siya. So doon tayo medyo... Uh, anyway. We should clear away yes. from the time. Exactly. Our subject is Thank the Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Next question. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Juvie de Guzman from DWB. Gusto ko na itanong si Mayora, Mayora Petilia. Alam po natin na ang Pilipinas ay uh, masagana sa kultura at tradisyon na napakaganda. So, lately po ba, nananatili po ba ito? Kasi uh, alam po natin na ngayon po pinag-usapan natin yung history na Leyte. Yung po bang mga estudyante po ng Leyte ngayon ay talagang uh, very much sincere sa kanilang kultura ngayon. At uh, ano po yun? Um, yes, I feel because I'm also a very, in my little way, in my own way, uh, advocate for culture and the arts in, uh, you know, heritage, etc. Uh, sustaining all this, even up to now, with modern and uh, high-tech uh, mga technologies ngayon, ano. But there should still be the, the interest and the heart for culture and the arts, especially in the countryside. I'm happy that in the province of Leyte, it's still there. Oh, and dyan pa rin. And dyan pa rin yung mga uh, rural, ano. Even in our agriculture, we're still on the... We still have a, a sort of brand. Like, uh, for example, in Ilocos, you have Abel. Uh, you have the Malong in the um, yeah. Mindanao area. Mm -hmm. You have uh, something that, uh, that will identify a product as precisely uh, Leyte or Palo, Tolosa. Yes. Santo Nino lang alam po. <laughs> Santo Nino. Santo Nino. Alam po siya. Even our best <laughs> brothers are, uh, ano, mayroong, ano, ng Santo Nino. Okay, so you have a Manique, Manique, Manique. Manique. Yeah, Prada, Ugali, and Ugali. 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 And that's very good. We have the binagol, uh, the binagol, the, the root crop that you prepare and put in the bagul, the coconut shell. Uh, we have a lot of uh, the pastillas, uh, pastillas related. We have the milk pastillas, which is also very good. Uh, there are so many products in the produce of the food and, uh, and crafts and all that. Oh. What about young people? Are they technically adept? Yes, uh, in a lot of ways they are because the schools are still there and in the schools they promote all these local no, products. Are they, are, they, are they into the internet? And the oh yes, they are too. Are they, they are too. And they are not 
to be left behind oh. in high tech. Oh, yes. But we also carry oh. the, the culture there in Denny. We have a culture and sports and uh, culture and arts. Arts. Uh, it's a very international event. It's going to happen in October. It's going to happen in London. I'm just asking, there are some tourists that are coming. They're not going to eat. 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 So goodbye, good to you. Yes, stop joining the outdoors there for the local. <laughs> we have the local guide from here. As I said, a lady is not left behind. Yeah, not just as long. You but uh, for tourists, you have yes. a lot of uh, small restaurants and yeah. still selling the local food. Yeah. Oh. The local, for example, we have the native yeah. chicken. We have our uh, promoting the native chicken is in Lake. We raise them in the farm and everything. Version of it is that we put the tat. We put the tat in it and the uh, and the uh, unripe papaya. Uh, it's the best. Okay, Mayor, last last question na lang po. Since na alam natin na naging uh, problema po dati yung Mayor na sa inyo po lugar, paano po kayo nakapag-move on? Ano po ugali pinakita niyo o ginawa niyo para magpatuloy, parang MacArthur din na I shall return. Kayo po yun. Diba? Binalik ka din niyo. Binal bina bina binalik ninyo yung magandang uh, 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 spirit na ano, na date. Yan. Thank you. Oh, well. Why is it not going to be able to do it? It's not going to be able to do it. It's not going to be able to do it. Even with the Baguio, it was always there. The Trilitenio heritage and the... So, what is that? What do you think of the things that they do in their lives? That's what they do in their culture of Leite. Uh, Lady kasi, dalawa siya, divided siya. On the side facing summer, it's what I want. On the side of Lady from south to north, facing Cebu and Bohol, is Cebu Island. So diverse ang ano niya eh. My, my blending, my Byron Day, Cebu ano lang, Byron Day, Waray lang. Oh, but it's a good blending of uh, strength and uh, and history. I, I have a question about okay. that one. Now that you mentioned uh, Cebu and Samba, yes. um, the Patina seem to be everywhere now in government. Are you the the next generation after the Marcos from one death? Well, the mayor of the Asia, the mayor of the Ghana, the mayor of the cabinet secretary. The mayor of the Patina had always been there. Even during the time of Marcos and the uh, Romualdez, we had always been there. Of all, and we stay there. That's why right. even after now we are still there. The because we never let uh, we never left uh, Leite to 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 anything. We stay there through thick and thin and uh, we are, are still there now. How are the Romualdez uh, no, um, described to described by the people now? They, do they are they neutral? Are they pro and con in one way or another? Or are they pitting the Patillas against the Romualdez? Then are you okay? <laughs> That's okay. Like the winner. Obviously, obviously you're the winner because Mrs. Marcos ran in Ilocos rather than in Leyte, no? For a seat in conference. What does that, is that I don't, I don't really know why, but uh, uh, they have also been there, like uh, the congressman, uh, congressman now in the first district is the Romualdez, but the governor is a Petilla, and uh, the mayor of Tacloban is uh, Romualdez, but the mayor in Palo is Petilla. <laughs> so it's, it's, I think it should be more like sharing. But are you friendly with each other, the two families? Oh, we're not warring with each other. <laughs> That's a nice good answer. Yeah. Speaking of war, at least it's not a world war. It's a world war. Because the Arikitilia plan, eh, and yun eh, first time na nagkaroon ng magpinsa sa kabinete. Si Secretary Arikitilia ng Energy at saka yung Secretary ng Department of Health. Oh, oh yes, during the time of President Pino, you know, my son, uh, Jericho Ecos Petilia, uh, was the Secretary of the Energy. Uh, he was governor, and then during the last uh, months of his governorship, 
Pinoy as uh, secretary of the NBA. That is very good looking. Yeah. And yeah, that's secretary. the mother, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the head secretary. You look too young. You look too young to be his mom, huh? I'm surprised. I didn't know that. Uh, any more questions? Yeah. Please identify yourself. Yeah. Habang lumalapit sila, please. Ito na po, nakuha ko yung, ano, yung tamang statistics. Yung mga Amerikano, Allied Forces, pati Australia, 300 ships in total, 67 lang sa hapon. So pinagtulungan, ano? 1,500 planes, itong sa ano, 300 planes sa, sa Japanese. And then the casualties, 3,000 casualties for the Allied Forces, and 12,500 casualties for the Japanese. So that's how big the battle for this is And that's why... Yes, sir. Um, good morning, everybody. Uh, I would like to ask this question to the mayor of Palo. Uh, way back in 1994, I was fortunate to attend the 50th anniversary of the Mickey Landing. So that was 25 years ago. Uh, my question is, do you know of anybody from a lady, World War II veterans, who are still alive, and how old are they? Oh, they are still, there are still uh, veterans in the province lady or in the region. Who are still there, who are still very lucky to be my uh, They are David attending the celebrations, the commemorations almost every year. They go, like last year, we had about uh, 21 veterans that we were honoring, all the very sick ladies, but uh, they're 90s. Uh, in their 90s. Yes, they're now in their 90s. And um, like uh, in wheelchairs, and you know, but they are still there. They still go. And we're very happy about that. So they will hopefully, be like, uh, yes, hopefully now, in the 70th anniversary, there could be more or less of with, uh, who will be there, but more on international, but uh, families. Uh, we are also uh, nurturing or we are uh, participating now in the uh, celebrations are the sons and daughters, because we are now looking into the sons and daughters who will uh, be part of commemoration in the future. Are they coming? They are there always, the sons and daughters. Of veterans, these are the uh, in fact, they are very well organized in the whole country, and uh, the, the lady and uh, the, the regional sons and daughters are very active. They are always there, and they participate in all the celebrations. So they will be invited to come out with us? No, no. 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 I was 10 years old. I was watching live on television that late the landing anniversary. 50th. Actually, the last big one was during the time of Pinoy. 70th. 70th. Kasi I was the one who covered it for Channel 4. Ako yung commentator ng kwento ng history. But uh, when I was 10 years old, I saw it on television and there was a big uh, reenactment. As in, lahat talaga, buong ano, may mga bako, ganyan. Yeah, but the uh, late landing happened in the afternoon, early afternoon. Remember that the event happened, happened at 10 a.m. So when when the boat came, high tide, at tangkad ng makato, at tas ng tubig, pag tumaba yung makato, hindi na nakababa yung iba. Bumaba yung makato, lumubo. Ito po, hanggang dito. Ah, the one playing the role of a Yes, the American. And the next day, he said, I shall not return. That's how he quieted. I shall not return. <laughs> <laughs> to tell you, uh, during the golden anniversary, I was, uh, I was not the, I was not the governor yet. I became governor in 1995. But I was, uh, my husband was the governor. So I was the first lady. And I was asked to coordinate the local of that. 
celebration for the golden and the national celebration I want. Uh, because it was fully supported by then President, uh, I was President Ramos was the president, and you know he was uh, very concerned with the political side and all that. So I mean, I'm not done a celebration, and then there was re the reenactment with all the Allied forces being there, the ships, the no, para talaga more like. <laughs> More like. And, uh, you know, because uh, I think the others the 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 he he stepped down too soon <laughs> when the the party was approaching the shore. Oh, there was a time when he was supposed to step down. Pero na ano nila yung time? Si Francia ng pepe. He was an actor, but I remember it was Sirius and Chavo, the famous director of the night, who directed that. Oh. And there was a very nice man to see. Um, a very nice man to see. Uh, replay, but uh, maybe not a reenactment because of two weeks. Too expensive. Madam Julie, I said that for the historian Chowa, the many who died in the Philippines, who were arrested, who were killed, 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 who Hundred of thousands na Pilipino para malaman natin. Para tama po. Ah, dahil ito yung ginagawa nila para ang ating mga kababayan ay magiging kadunus-dunus ang kalagayan. Yan ito po. Uh, in fairness to the Americans. Totoo yun. The bombings to liberate Manila in this Tito era because mga kapasit, kapag era ito, mas madaming mamamatay. So we have small bombardment. Ang mali sa history na ito sa atin that the, Americ the Japanese did not destroy Manila. North of Manila, kasi ito'y Pasig River, North of Manila, sinunog yan. Sa Maria Sears, sinunog din. So, doon, madami na rin. Pago siyempre, pinalabas nila yung mga tao dyan sa Amita, pinapatay nila yung mga lalaki, nirave nila yung mga babae dyan sa Bimbyo Hotel. But the Americans, totoo yun, may ang tawag doon yung Collateral damage doon sa pag uh, ano no? Now, let us look at the uh, parallelism to the Battle of Marawi. That, but but Marawi, there were only a few ISIS or Daesh uh, militants there. But they have to destroy the whole city. Kasi hindi nila mahanap yung mga, yung mga Daesh eh. So kailangan no, by no crani, by crani, Banata nila. Now, of course, you can say marami ding na matay in the cross fight. No? But the destruction of Marawi, if we're going to look at the parallelism, kung the Americans destroyed Manila, it's like saying that the Philippine government destroyed Marawi. E kasalanan naman ng mga dahil siya kung bakit nasira yun. Dahil kailangan silang palisin lahat. So, in a way, ganun din yung nangyari. The Americans wouldn't want it, but they have to do it. And, uh, the problem was, the Japanese were so keen on making a victory for the Americans that is empty. Meaning, manalo man kayo, patay naman yung mga tao. So, yun kaya lumaban sila hanggang kamatayan talaga eh. Kasi ganun ang kanilang code eh. May code sila na ganun eh. Yung, yung parang, ano tawag doon? Yung Bushido, di ba? So, yun yung, yung naging problem doon. So, yes, that's true. Uh, and we have to, in a way, eh, we have to look at that ano of history na war, kailangan hindi lagi tayo mag-resort. As much as possible, iwasan ang gera. Because we have, to we have to destroy everything that we have built. Eh. That's, that's, that's the most painful part. And, uh, yes, I uh, agree. And I think like any war, like any war, there are just as many casualties as possible. So, uh, on both sides, the innocent ones, the, the warring uh, part, uh, people, and all that, there's a, that's the, uh, that's the effect of war, that's the outcome of war. That's why 
we should really, really never war, part never war again. again, ever again. War never uh, again. Our leaders and uh, us ourselves should always be vigilant on that. We should never really let the war uh, come into our... I think that's a good way to end our discussion, unless there are more questions. Uh, may mga patanggot pa po dito, pero... Bago po lahat ay uh, natutuwa ang malaking bahagi po ng ating uh, ng mga nagkukubilis na media at mga kapataan na uh, eskola. Tanong po, ganito. Ay, hindi po na tanong. Uh, tungkol po sa Boy Scout of the Philippines. Kanina may tinanong po ang kasamang Ben Cal tungkol sa uh, reunion ng uh, nasinagot po ni Mayor Martin na mga guerrilla. Ito po bang Boy Scout? May natitira pa rin daw ba na mga Boy Scouts na lumahok sa gera at may barang tentuno kayo na tipunin sila at hingin ang kanika nilang mga karanasan o istorya. Sa ngayon po, uh, nasa lokal ang paghahanda at uh, mismo ang ating mayor ng palo ay siyang nangangasiwa nilang chairperson na Boy Scouts of the Philippines late day. Kamsi. How big is the membership in Leyte? Uh, of Boy Scouts? Siguro kung si Binay ang tawag nun. Baka nasa, uh, nasa 25,000. Malaki rin po. And, uh, in fact, also you said, uh, ang Tolosa, that's where this happened, the Boy Scout uh, team of war uh, participation happened. And so every uh, commemoration, there's always um, participation of the municipality of Tolosa. On the, uh, especially on the participation or, uh, ano, of, of the Boy Scouts in that war, in that basic government. So every year as well, during the celebration, during the commemoration, there's always a Boy Scout jamboree in Tolosa, a provincial or a regional always in Tolosa. So, the celebration, we uh, signal day, we call it, uh, it's part of the Boy Scout signal day, is uh, commemorated by the municipality of Tolosa. So, every October 18, two days before the landing, uh, everyone goes to Tolosa to, to, to commemorate with them. It's the mayor. The mayor there now is the mayor Erwin Okanya. Uh, in Tolosa. And there's always a Boy Scout jamboree. Boy Scouts are there during the celebration. How does that membership compare with Girl Scouts? Um, Girl Scouts as, 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 well. as, as many there. Ah, as many? Because there are as many girls as there are boys. <laughs> so I think uh, Girl Scout and the Boy Scout. <laughs> My own race membership. What was, who's, going to, who's going to be the star of the celebration? You cannot produce of Arthur, Romulo, Osmenia, who will be the star? The veterans? Uh, the veterans are there, the celebrations always uh, in honor of the veterans, of the leaders, the foot soldiers who really had a very good uh, as well participation in the, in the war. We have no, yeah. we have no and, members. Uh, How many more than how many of them would be expected? How many of them are expected? We, we are expecting, in fact, families of uh, foreign veterans, the Allied forces, yes, I'm signified that they're coming. Okay. Or Australians, uh, New Zealanders, uh, Japanese, Japanese also. Yes, and uh, a lot of other countries. The U.S. basically is mainly. So they have already signified and made preservation of the coming. So um, preparation is also more on the veterans who are joining us, but more also on the youth camps, like we, we have youth camps, and, uh, like the Boy Scouts. The Boy Scouts are always involved. So they are always there. So Damir, and then on the, uh, on the 19th, the celebration is in Dulab later. So the mayor there now is Mayor Joy uh, K. And uh, it's also one of the biggest naval uh, battles, encounters uh, in, the, in the landings. And it's in Dula. So
So that is your celebration. And then, uh, palo, palo on the day itself, October 20th. But we want to add that on the 21st, October 21, we are also making like a local uh, commemoration for Palo. That's not in the usual celebration, but we want to add it on now. Because Palo was the first uh, municipality that was liberated uh, by the Allied forces. So we just want to uh, feel that Palo is very, uh, I mean, everyone to join us. Palo is very um, diversified in Palo So this is one of the histories of Palo, historical. But we also have the religious, because Palo is the seat of the archdiocese of uh, Palo. And uh, it can also be cultural and uh, art because that's why there's an international gathering of artists uh, as part of the celebration. And um, yeah, we would, we would rather also concentrate on the young now because they are very important. Uh, you sing that day, tell me what I'm Boy Scout. Can you accept the Sato? Growing up, siguro lahat tayo na Boy Scout. Pinata ko kayo sa Sima Boy. Sa 35 years ago ba? Akala yung Sima Boy. Ayun, next, may sabihahin ako. 45 years ago na. Imagine kung hindi marunong ang Sima Boy. Hindi na buwag ba? Sana si Mayora eh. Baka yung bahay niya, kasama sa nalang po yung mga mga skills na yan, in demand pa rin. Relevant ko kaya sa panahon ng texting at saka ng messenger. Ano ba yun? Sa kayo na, sa square na sign. At basic po yan, sa lahat ng scouting activities. Kasi mawala na lahat yung mga gadgets na yan. Itong basic form of communication ay patuloy na magiging relevant yan. Kaya pag wala nang kuryente, wala nang signal, you can use the SIMO4 signaling. And in a way that you continue to survive because in scouting, the children, the young people are taught survival skills. So you don't need ROTC? Ah, hindi po. Ah, sa kolehyo naman niya. Are you for or against ROTC? Ang polisiya po kasi ng gobyerno is such that if you go, go up the level of college or tertiary education, dapat din matuto ka because uh, handa din po mga scouts dyan eh. Kasi in scouting, we taught them love of God, love of country, petrofism, courage, no? self-reliance. So, ito yung mga qualities that would you know, prepare them to enter into that level of higher education and so far as duty to country kasi yan. One last question for me. Ma'am, sa dalil ako, gusto ko lang batiin si Senator Joey. Siya po ang may akda ng Republic Act 7278, yung charter ng Boy Scouts of the Philippines po, 1990. Salamat din, Senator Joey. Ma'am, how much money will you be spending for this four-day celebration? And are these going to be provincial or municipal funds? It can be like if it is uh, it's more like provincial because this is an actually provincial event. It's not just a local. We are just involved because it happens in our respective municipalities. But we contribute as well because we have local uh, celebrations. And then we also rely more on the national contribution. Because this is not just a provincial or regional, this is national and even international. So we will be having national and international guests and participants. So we really would like uh, national to be also involved. What do you do on the national side? DOT? Uh, the well, there's the National, uh, the different national Historical Commission. And then there's uh, a DOT. Then there's, uh, I think everyone is involved. Like now, we are preparing uh, since it is the 75th, we are preparing more of the 75th. So we are gathering all the schools. I'm starting in Palo, but I hope it will be in all the province of Lady or even the, the side of the province in the Pacific side. Uh, to come up with a tree planting of uh, 75 trees for every school. Yes. Because right now, 
we are uh, we are constructing an outside uh, investment in my town uh, in answer or in uh, preparation for any uh, calamity like what we had in Malaysia. So for the stone storage, which is comes from the seawater, we are trying to put an embankment in our coastal barangay. So we are more than just an embankment, the protection. We also want it to be uh, environmental and to be even uh, destinations for uh, for tourism and uh, livelihood. We want to put everything there in the embankment. So the more than just the trees, I suggested, and I think all the schools are very, you know, very uh, uh, receptive. Uh, it can be mangroves, so it can be about environmental. Because I am planning to put up, and, and actually it's there already, a mangrove highway along the embankment. Because there should be the mangroves, there should be the embankment, there should be the hiking roads. And there should be the forest, the beach forest, that can protect the barangay, the coastal barangays of our town. I, I so hope there will be fireflies in the mangroves. Huh? Fireflies. Oh yes, I hope. Oh, yes, there are. Oh. In fact, there are. So a lot of things can happen in mangroves. So how much of the budget allocated for the whole? Actually, for the whole celebration. Uh, after this, we don't get the national, national, provincial, we don't know yet about the private and uh, fund, most of it. But then uh, we would like to uh, national to help us to make it more uh, commemorative and to make it more meaningful. You know? We have to invite the president. We are, we have to invite the president to come and uh, uh, who's your accomplishment. Who's your accomplishment? We have five districts in the, in the province of Leyte. So Martin Lomar is in the first district, in the second district it's Congressman Henry Wong, and the third district is Congressman Delonso, and uh, in the fourth district is Congressman Lucy, Lucy Gomez, uh, and in the fifth district it's uh, Boyd Khan. So what are they? Are they helping you? Oh, I'm helping us in, uh, right now, in um, the physical, <laughs> the financial, the physical, like uh, our infrastructure, like uh, the festivals, like the participation of the schools, and the uh, ed, ed, and sports, because we have we put sports in our uh, commemorations and everything. Uh, what, what is your wish list? How much would you need? Um, what would it cost you? <laughs> it would depend on uh, what is the approved activities. Six months away before you know it. Yes, in Next. fact, we are also requesting for, because the park, the uh, the shrine, the Lady Golf Landing Shrine, is with the end of the Mount Arthur Park. So the park itself needs uh, rehabilitation. Because it has been there for so long, no improvements at all since the golden anniversary, and um, the land that destroyed it and uh, everything else. So it really needs rehabilitation. We would really want to um, ask uh, now. We are requesting Jessa to help us in the infrastructure, uh, but um, we would appreciate uh, a quicker. Uh, decisions on the rehabilitation because it's, uh, I don't know if we can finish uh, the infrastructure because it's too close now. But we are trying to do whatever we can. And the province through Governor Dominic Petilia is helping a lot on the infrastructure or rehab of the, of the park. Uh, we really hope national rehab. Well, I wish we could say we will help you, but I don't know. Except to propagate your message. Yes, we have. We would like to ask. Uh, we would like to thank you before we go. We would like to thank you for making this uh, possible for us. Thank yeah. you for coming from uh, to drop all yeah. the way from a local airport. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, we would uh, also love to each one's help in the drum beating of the 75th. We're more than just the war side of it. We want to emphasize and to really uh, make uh, this uh, event 
uh, a drum beating for not just the war, as I said, but on the more on the peace, on the peace side, the freedom side. What did you, this event do? Yeah, <laughs> Joey, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my uh, favorite lover. Uh, <laughs> General Douglas uh, MacArthur stayed here for seven, uh, seven years. So many love them is uh, directly uh, connected uh, with General Douglas MacArthur. Uh, and we would like to help trumpet uh, uh, the needed uh, attention to this landing at the late day of October 2019. 44, 75 uh, uh, years on October 20 this year. We would like to place the, the replica of the landing <coughs> at the lobby. Uh, is it possible they have uh, uh, replicas even on smaller scale so we can put it at the lobby? So everybody who comes here will see. Kaya lang si General Romulo na may nag-isin. He's here in the... Yeah, I know. But we are ready to have Manila Hotel and Palo Lete how to draw attention to this Diamond anniversary of the landing. Maybe we can discuss something. Thank you very much, Joey. That, uh, that really is uh, would be a very good uh, drum meeting for that event. And uh, can, yes, can we sit down and plan for it? For the entire month of May, mm -hmm. we can have, uh, uh, you know, MacArthur standing there. People will have their selfies uh, taken there at the lobby. And then we will have a write-up, bulletin, you know, all the uh, broadsheet. We will invite the... Uh, the TV, uh, all the TV stations to send. Uh, we will have a press launch for your uh, event here, maybe here at the Roma Salon. When we open that, uh, or if not at the lobby, at our museum, we have. When will that be? We will discuss well, it. We can or we can yeah, discuss during the month of, uh, uh, of, uh, of uh, October. October. Before October. We can have a good festival later. Maybe uh, General uh, Douglas MacArthur did something special when he landed. Uh, well, he must uh, have. Must have. Must have. So let's have the research. The historian and, uh, is here. Yes, and also maybe I'll just add the provincial capital now yes. in uh, in Tacloban City is uh, the place where uh, the civil, the first civil government was installed. After the war, after the landing, yes. Uh, General MacArthur installed uh, President Osmania as the first pres president of the civil government uh, right after the landing. So uh, it's also a very significant uh, uh, structure or the capital. It's there now and it's just as beautiful as ever. So we can also. Uh, uh, maybe highlight that. Uh, but uh, thank you, Joey. That really is a beautiful, uh, maybe smart. We will offer your very uh, special place uh, to support you in the month of October. People <laughs> yes. would like to sleep in uh, uh, the <laughs> at a very special place. Yes, that's a beautiful place. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe veterans can uh, also take advantage of that. I would really love to take advantage of that offer of uh, the, the sweet, no? General MacArthur sweet. Uh, yes, my dear. Very historical. Very historical. Okay. Good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, you said, Professor, uh, Atin Lahat. Maraming uh, salamat po. Maraming salamat po.
sa lahat po ng ating mga panauhin, ay hope po na kayong umalis at uh, pagkakalaban po kayo ng uh, libro. Ng uh, libro na Mencheremos about war. Uh, about the 75th anniversary of World War II. Okay. Mencheremos. Kaya po yung lahat ng panauhin natin, magkakaroon po tayo ng soft launch dito. At ang ating pong Pangulo ng Samahan Tridel ay kasama po natin sa paglulunsad na ito. Ay, tapos na. Ay, si Senator Joe Mila sa Tripong Pictorial Sardis. Okay. Nanyahan po natin ang Pangulo ng Samahan Tridel upang magbigay ng kaunting bendisyon sa ating pong libro. Sir Rolando Estabillo, Pangulo ng Samahan Pradel at ng Manila Standard. Uh, Kunti po yun yun, hindi po ako ang uh, Pangulo ng uh, Manila Standard. Ako po ang Pablo, sir. <laughs> anyway, uh, maraming salamat at napangalit ng programa ko ang uh, ating ngayon uh, ngayon. At, uh, Sa mga panuhin, maraming maraming salamat na pagpalito ninyo sa aray makulit natin dito at mabigyan natin ang uh, maganda na pagkakataw ng ating mga lala ng mga bataan na ma ma-realize nila kung gano'ng kahalaga ang late sa design ng Pilipinas. Maraming salamat. Ma 
private na usapan tulad nito si BSP President Wendell Abisado isa po na napakagaling natin na